<laughs> well, that stupid grease. I like the way I stuck my thumb in there, so that's all you saw there for a second. I'm a bitch. I, ain't <laughs> I couldn't get the angle right now, but it started. And, uh, anyways, but I digress. How to do? So, <laughs> cut in action. So, I am. I don't know if you can see it behind me. I've got some smoke going there behind me. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's the first time I fired up my barbecue grill this season. We have a uh, 70 plus day, it's about 75 here actually. I've got a pitcher here that I've never used before that I made some whiskey sours in. Let's show you here. Uh, this says ring necked pheasant. Also on the glass, it says ring neck pheasant. This also came with three other glasses uh, with different game birds on them. One said grouse, one said um, canvas back, the other one said Canadian goose. It was just a neat little set my wife found, and I've tried to look it up to see what it was, because it's just really too small to be a martini pitcher, besides it comes with these glasses, which are more, you know, uh, they're whiskey neat glasses. So, and I, and I found a set that looks similar to it, well, not the same gamers, but a very similar size set uh, that was a mint julep set, so I'm wondering if it was originally a mint julep set. So I figure as we get close to the Kentucky Derby, I'll do some mint juice. But anyway, today I decided to make it a whiskey sour set. So I did a very simple version of a whiskey sour. It can be done many ways. It really can. But my version is very simple, very bare bones. Uh, this combined equal parts bourbon fresh lemon juice i squeezed them badasses myself my hands still smell like lemon hopefully i can get lucky tonight and they'll smell like pussy later but right now they smell like lemon see i say that because i know my wife does not watch my videos cut in action <laughs> and equal parts simple syrup which i did make myself i made uh i used some uh uh Da, 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 da. I used some cut in action. I used some uh, uh, raw cane sugar. Boy, I had a hard time getting in. I used some raw cane sugar that I made my own simple syrup with. So I just, this combines equal parts simple syrup, lemon juice, and bourbon. Equal parts of each. It makes you a nice whiskey sour. I did squeeze them lemons myself, so there are pieces of pulp in here. I did strain it. I did use a strainer to get the seeds out. And most of the pulp, but there is some pulp in here because, well, by golly, I use some fresh mother freaking lemon! Son of a gun! You know if you order a pot pie in Colorado, that green stuff isn't kale. <laughs> Can somebody get me a mother freaking cookie? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I digress. Oh, jokes hit me at inopportune times. Um, I'm one of those folks that was born without. Uh, well, actually, I was I was born with a filter. There was a time in my life where I never said anything. My my dad raised Stepford children. I swear to God. <laughs> All of us kids, all, well, we grew up in the age where kids were seen but not heard. And by golly, if you acted up in public, your home life was going to be god awful. Uh, but as I got older, somehow I don't know what happened. I mean, I was a shy kid for a long, long time. I mean, I had no game with chicks whatsoever. <laughs> none whatsoever. When I say none, that <laughs> I mean absolutely zero. <laughs> I've been married for 20 years now, and as I've gotten older, somehow that filter is is disintegrated. Because I can't say I wasn't born with one, because I did have one at one time, but it has gone away, and now everything that seems to pop in my head has to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Whether it pisses somebody off or not. Even on a computer, it seems if I think it, I have to type it. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I pissed somebody off. There's another friend lost. But anyway, various social media. Uh, so, uh, uh, I've digressed. So, I'm going to end this. <laughs> Here we go. Pheasants. Whiskey sour. Go get you some.